Reviewing the Hyundai Starix vs. H1 is indeed interesting, because the two MPV cars from South Korea both have large bodies. Even so, both have significant differences, such as completeness of features, engine technology and engine options. From the beginning of their appearance, both the Hyundai H1 and Starix were van types which were considered versatile cars. Because the Hyundai H1 can be used for ambulances, taxis, and even pickups to transport goods. Oh yes, outside of Indonesia the Hyundai H1 has several names. Like Starix, H200, and other names. Then in 2002, this car was also produced in China under license from the Hyundai Motor Company and was named Jack Refine by Anhui Zhangwei Automobile. The initial generation of the Hyundai H1 or Starix did not enter the Indonesian market. This car adopts a 2.5 LSOHC engine which is claimed to have a maximum power of 85 horsepower with a peak torque of 170 newton meters. Then in 2000 it came with a new engine, namely the 2.5 DOHC Kamen Rail Direct Injection Turbo Diesel. The first difference between the Hyundai Starix and the H1 is in the engine. Hyundai Starix carries a 2.5 turbo diesel wastegate turbocharged WGT SOHC 8 valve diesel engine, which is mated to a 6 speed manual transmission. Meanwhile, the Hyundai H1 offers two engine options namely the 2.5 CRD diesel engine with common rail technology and variable geometry turbo VGT. Maximum power on paper reaches 170 PS with peak torque of up to 392 Nm. Diesel engine. Then the second is for a 2.4L petrol engine with a claimed maximum power of 159 PS at 5,500 revolutions per minute and a peak torque of 225 Nm at 4,250 revolutions per minute engine speed. Then, the difference between the Hyundai Starix and the next H1 is in the completeness of its features. The first is on the head unit. The Hyundai H1 can already have a touchscreen, while Starix can't. Then the head unit on the H1 can also be connected to a cell phone to play songs via Bluetooth, even for the highest variant it can accommodate navigation maps. So, regarding the safety features of the Hyundai Starix, it is completely out of line with the H1. Call it the availability of airbags which are only for the driver and front passenger, two points. Meanwhile for the H1 there are six airbags which are divided for the front and rear passengers. Even so, for security features both the Hyundai Starix and the H1 have been embedded with an immobilizer and parking sensors. Starix was launched to meet consumer demand for this large car at a lower price. In 2012, Starix actually appeared but used the name Hyundai H1 Classic variant. As the lowest trim in the H1 family, the interior design is also simpler than the H1 Royale or XG variants. The H1 itself costs around Rp. 100 million for the 2008 Alert gasoline engine. Meanwhile, for the 2010 Alert diesel engine, it is around Rp. 135 million. The Hyundai H1 has undergone several changes to its exterior, and of course the younger the used H1 being sold, the more expensive it will be. Moladiners, that's a review of the Hyundai Starix vs H1. Both have a large body and the same engine, it's just that the H1 has more complete features and a more luxurious interior appearance.